Slave City fam, what is up? It is Art and Bobby. We just parked our car here at uh, the grocery store on the north side of Chicago because we want to go into the store, which Art and I actually haven't been to together in a while, and do a clean shopping haul guide on how to navigate the aisle. So I'm thinking we should start maybe and go into the pasta aisle, the cooking oil aisle, the breakfast aisle, the frozen aisle, all those aisles, and check out how I shop the grocery store, what I look for, what do I avoid, and why. The reason I want to make this video is because we make so many videos that focus on micro things. How about make a macro video that shows you overall how to approach the grocery store? I think you're going to like it because there'll be a ton of info in this video. Uh, before we get into the grocery store and do our thing like we always do, you know the drill, like, subscribe, share, all those things are gravy. But there's also a bell icon below the video. Enable all notifications on your device because we have like six pieces of video going live every week, including the live stream, which we're about to film after this video here. Uh, you don't want to miss out. Also, this video is sponsored by the longest sponsor of the channel, Thrive Market. Wait till you see. We're going to go up here actually at Whole Foods. Wait till you see. Almost everything at the grocery store is also on Thrive Market, but the price is always cheaper. In fact, you save about $32 per order and the box comes to your door, which is great if you don't want to leave the house and go to the store. And you'll see when I go in the store here, I'm going to uh, whip out their app and show the price scanner. You can scan anything at the grocery store and it always shows you if it's cheaper on Thrive Market or if there's another alternative. And here's the deal. I have my promo link down below. Check them out. It's 30 days risk free and all new members, all Flav City fans also get a free gift. One of those gifts right now is a box of grass fed chomps. It is fantastic. They have so many things I ordered on a weekly basis. You're going to love it. So check out, use my link down below. Now let's go into the grocery store and do our clean eating grocery haul. Art and I have entered the pasta aisle. There's so many selections here. And I mean, is pasta really healthy? Technically, no, because it's a carb bomb. But if you eat the right pasta, like I'm going to show you, it can be healthier and much more nutrient dense than eating this. OK, this is the kind of pasta we all know. It's white wheat pasta or semolina flour pasta. The problem is, my friends, when you get a pasta like this, it's a simple carbohydrate. It was a whole wheat grain. It has all of that goodness stripped away, and it's a simple carbohydrate. So is that delicious? Yes. But this is the kind of pasta that offers zero nutrition. It'll spike your blood sugar more than any other kind of pasta I'm going to show you, and it just doesn't offer any nutrients. Well, if I go right here by Arthur, Arthur, we see the kind of pastas you want to eat. I only eat gluten-free pastas, and I'll take that one step further. I only eat pastas made from legumes, specifically lentils and chickpeas are... What's up? No, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. The Amazon shopper is going to get... Oh, I thought you were getting a Bobby approved one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, specifically, I love lentil chickpea pasta. Why? Because look at the ingredient. Instead of starchy wheat, you just have one ingredient, green lentil flour, and it's organic. But because it's lentils and because we have chickpeas here, it's nutrient-dense carbohydrates. That is an insane amount of protein and fiber for pasta. If you compare that to the white wheat pasta, night and day. So when you're going to eat carbs, make them count, make them nutrient dense, make them whole grain or whole bean gluten free grains. Now, all right, come over here for a sec. We were just having a little chat about this here. Now, why is this pasta here that's for kids four twenty nine, but the regular one for adults is three ninety nine? Are they just charging more because they know kids are going to eat it? That and from a manufacturing standpoint, they need an extra dye to make this. Ah, Art says they have to have an extra dye to make the galaxy shapes. So look how fun this is. Now, I you love your children, <laughs> they're worth an extra 30 cents. I, get that. I think Art has his sold there. That is fun. Uh, Alpha Land is fun. But this is the kind of pasta you want to give for your kids. Put that on a good cheese sauce. This is nutrient-dense pasta. Now, be careful, because sometimes you can read a label here, and you'll see, okay, look, this is quinoa pasta. Quinoa is a complex carbohydrate that is gluten-free. Always repeat, always read the ingredients because yes, it has quinoa, but it's the last ingredient. It actually has white rice flour. If it's brown rice pasta, that's great. White rice, no good. It's another simple carbohydrate. So just read the ingredients here and you can easily avoid the ones that are simple carbohydrates for the one that are complex and those are delicious. Sometimes you do have to cook them an extra three to five minutes beyond the package directions because the uh, lentil specifically can be very al dente, but I love it. Oh, another one I really love is here. Is it here? Oh yeah, this one is fantastic in the new cookbook. This is a brown rice and organic egg tagliatelle. 
fantastic pasta in texture. You won't even know it's gluten-free and that price actually is fantastic right now. Now, right where Art is looking at the vinegars and the fats is a great segue because you're gonna need fat to cook with, okay? Fat can be a good thing and a lot of these fats get a bad rap. So we have whole videos about that, but you really wanna stay away from your conventional fats like canola oil, grapeseed oil, sunflower, safflower oil, stuff like that is highly processed highly refined at high heats. If it's not expeller pressed canola oil or expeller pressed soybean oil, two of which I don't eat, they use a chemical called hexane to extract the oil from the plant. It's really bad for you and it's inflammatory. So we talked about this before, but if you need to stock up your pantry, I would get avocado oil. It's the perfect swap to canola oil because they're both high heat oils that have no flavor, but this is actually really heart healthy and really good for lowering your cholesterol avocado oil versus canola night and day you're going to want avocado oil you're going to want some ghee ghee is an amazing saturated fat yes i said amazing saturated fat especially when it's made with grass-fed milk this stuff is fantastic now i will say this one is very expensive here um, and this brand is nice but if you actually scan the barcode for this right here you'll see that it's cheaper on thrive market but better yet, the Thrive Market uh, grass-fed organic ghee is my favorite ghee, and it's way cheaper than any of these. So when you use my promo link down below, try that ghee. You will thank me later. It's fantastic. This is grass-fed, pasture-raised. It is fantastic. It's loaded with conjugated linoic acids and omega-3 fatty acids. This is great stuff. So have that in your pantry. Have some avocado oil in. Have some virgin coconut oil. And then if you're looking for one olive oil here, I'd say get a bottle of this right here this is the california 100 percent extra virgin olive oil but strictly from california if you get one that's blended from other countries that's not ideal the california olive ranch is actually a really good one and uh because it's single origin just california you're not going to have any problems with mysterious uh, oils or mysterious olives that can be rancid so have those oils in your uh, cupboard those are the healthiest cooking oils you can buy there it is, the great wall of sweeteners here at the grocery store. Beautiful heart, mm -hmm. gorgeous. Uh, but let me break it down for you pretty easy. So cane sugar is something we never, ever have at home. I don't care if it's cane sugar, the white form, organic cane sugar, turbinado sugar, sugar in the water. Cane sugar is just really bad for you for so many reasons. And the problem is that most grocery stores or all grocery stores, especially in prepackaged food, there's so much hidden sugars. In fact, the average American has 19 and a half teaspoons of sugar per day which is insane which is why by the year 2050 one in three of us will have diabetes so swap out the cane sugar at home it's so darn easy if you want a healthy and delicious paleo sweetener maple syrup can be used for both sweet and savory recipes it's fantastic stuff and it has such a complex flavor especially compared to sugar this is really really lovely another and probably my favorite paleo sweetener here is coconut sugar Coconut palm sugar is the same as coconut sugar. This has a great flavor too. It has almost this like caramel nutty flavor and it's the sap of the coconut blossom dried up and then pulverized into sugar. It's a one-to-one -one replacement for sugar in any recipe and it's absolutely fantastic. And then if you're on a low carb or diabetic diet, you're gonna wanna go with monk fruit sweetener because it's always a one-to-one -one replacement with uh, sugar for any recipe. It has a nice flavor, just like sugar without any aftertaste. If you get something that's pure erythritol like this, it's gonna have a little bit of a cooling effect, which I don't like. So I'd much rather you get the monk fruit sweetener. And if you're gonna get stuff like st uh, stevia or uh, the uh, drops or any of that, just make sure it has no additional added natural flavors or anything like that. But a couple drops of the original one and a cup of coffee is a fantastic way to substitute what I call the devil, AKA cane sugar right down there. Okay, Art is shazamming who sings this song right now. Who is it, Art? Barry White. Barry White, can't get enough of your love, babe. Thank I you, Art. I should have known. We should have known that, that's very, very sad. Um, we're in the breakfast aisle here and there's a big wall of non-dairy milks and we don't drink any milk at home. So we actually use a lot of non-dairy milk. We have a couple of videos about that, but you have to be careful no matter what type of non-dairy milk you're getting because I can pick anything right here. This is the so delicious coconut vanilla. Anytime it doesn't say unsweetened, it's always gonna have sugar, so organic cane sugar. Seven grams per eight fluid ounces is a lot, you guys. Seven grams is just under two teaspoons of cane sugar per cup. 
If you're giving that to your kids and their cereal or whatnot, that's a lot of sugar. So first rule of non-dairy milk is always get unsweetened. But there's another issue too. So this is a very popular brand right here. And you'll see this carrageenan free. It's got more calcium. It's probably a good one, right? Look at the ingredients here. So yeah, there's no uh, sweetener here, but they almost all have natural flavors, which you guys know how I feel. That's another word for artificial flavors. But look at the amount of emulsifiers and gums here. Sunflower lecithin, locust bean gum, and gelin gum. And by the way, the reason why it has more calcium than dairy milk is because they're fortifying it with calcium here. There's no calcium in the almonds at all. Um, here's the deal. Too many emulsifiers in gums, like the gel and gum and the sunflower lecithin, can be very disruptive to your gut, especially for young kids. So you want to look for ones that don't have any or have very, very few. Two of my favorite brands are Elmhurst, Shelf Stable Almond or Nut Milks, and Thrive Market actually has one of the best organic oat and almond milks. If you actually scan this one here using the barcode scanner, which I love, that's why I'm talking about it so much. If you scan this, you'll see that it brings up the Thrive Market one on their website and it's way cheaper. It's like 34 ounces for 250. There's one emulsifier, sunflower lecithin, and that's it. And the oat milk has zero at all. So make sure to scoop that when you try Thrive Market using my promo link down below. I use that for my smoothies all the time. Um, so keep those in mind when you're looking at uh, different milks. And if you're looking for a great milk for your toddler who's not having uh, breast milk anymore, you don't want to give them uh, any uh, cow's milk, hemp milk is fantastic. But I haven't found one on the market yet besides homemade that's really clean because this one has sugar, okay? And this one up here that is original or unsweetened vanilla hemp milk has natural flavors in there and a ton of emulsifiers. So I'm going to do some research on a really good hemp milk without too many uh, filler ingredients. But just keep that in mind when you're buying your uh, non-dairy milk, you really want to stick by those rules. The snack aisle is really, really changing. There's so many better options for you here. They're still not healthy, but it can be healthy-ish. Now let me show you something that is disguised as healthy, but it's not really. So. These are OG, right? Veggie straws have been around forever, and I see so many kids eating these. But have you ever read the ingredients of veggie straws? I did recently at Costco. So look at this. Before you get to any veggies, there's a plethora of simple starches and carbohydrates. Corn flour. Now, it's non-GMO because it's organic, but corn flour, potato flour, potato starch, corn starch, rice flour, and then sugar, and then some organic vegetables cooked in organic safflower oil, which is not the ideal oil at all. So you think you're giving your kid something veggie. You ever had these, Art? Yeah, you think you're giving your kid or Art something that's veggie loaded. It's really a starch bomb with a little bit of veggies cooked in bad quality oil. But if I put this back, there's a new player that just came out, honestly, like two weeks ago. Here it is. Lesser Evil has these veggie sticks. And you might recognize the Buddha there because we've talked about their popcorn, right? Their Himalayan popcorn here is fantastic. And they have one that's cooked in ghee. That's great. But this is their veggie sticks. Now, I want you to see the big difference here. These are veggie sticks with organic olive oil and pink salt. So right off the bat, those are great ingredients. But look at this. So they still start with a couple starches, only cassava flour and tapioca starch. That's it. Those are the two starches, not a bunch like the other ones have. Then you have a ton of organic vegetables cooked in olive oil with Himalayan pink salt, one of the best non-processed, unrefined salts around. Yes, it's going to be a little more expensive, but if you want to give your kids or big kids like Art something that is slightly more uh, healthy and better for you, this is what you want to see. This is really, really cool. I love to see this kind of stuff at the store because you're getting sort of healthier snack options, especially when it comes to that, which is, like I said, a bad food item that, uh, masquerading as a healthy one. Art has another random musing here. I always love a good pun, and I found another chip magnet. Well, that's actually really, really good. good. But that company makes, what else is right there, Art? They have a variety known as garlicious. I've seen this here. Show that bottle. The amount of garlic cloves in this salsa is astronomical. If you eat that, no one's going to kiss you for a good two weeks. So I don't know if it's worth it, but that looks scary. No vampires will kill you either. Well said, Arthur. All right, Flav City family, that is it. Art and I just rocked the grocery store, and it's interesting, right? Once you go to different aisles, it's kind of like Neo in the Matrix, I call it. 
before you start to learn, it's a little crazy. You're plugged into the matrix, you're just going with the flow. But once you start to learn how to read labels and all that good stuff, you start to see the good from the bad, but more importantly, why. So you know exactly what to buy. There's a ton of other stuff in the grocery store we could have done, but we're actually gonna go back upstairs now and flip on a live stream, which is why you wanna like, subscribe, share. What about the bell icon again, Art? You want to click it. You may want to click it because there's so much content going live. You don't want to miss out. Um, also, Thrive Market has a ton of the stuff we just talked about for cheaper on their website. So check out my promo link down below. Once again, it's 30 days risk free, but you're going to love it. Uh, spread the love about Flav City. But we also have two more videos below over so right now. But for Arthur T. I'm going to see not the first, not the second, the third. And for me, Bobby the Baboon, as Desi calls me, Parish. I leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and Peace. Later.